Hey guys, it's Dave with My Freedom Smokes. Today I'm here to talk to you about the AKD Spider Kit from Kinger Tech. Um, the AK the Spider Kit is using uh, a new mod they designed for the kit. Um, also uses the 5.6 mini tank. You guys may remember the video we did a while back on that 5.6 tank uh, device we carried for a while. Um, just a smaller version of that tank. Still has a pretty cool coils. They call them Tiger coils. Uh, what's neat about these coils is actually three uh, separate barrels of coils. Um, each with their own resistance. Um, I mean, they're all going to be 0.6 resistance. You can run one coil at a time, two coils at a time, or three coils at a time. Uh, when you run a two, your overall resistance becomes a 0.3. You run all three, you get a 0.2. And they actually can be run individually. So you can actually run one coil for its full lifespan, swap to another coil, or swap to a, the third coil. Run them all at one time, run two at a time. It's really up to you how you want to run that. And it's all done by these little switches here at the bottom, right below the airflow. Um, with them all pushed to the right, there's little LEDs next to them. When you fire it, the little LEDs actually light up, let you know that coil is actually active. Um, and the Tiger mod, I mean not the Tiger mod, the Spider mod actually allows the coils, um, or it auto adjust your wattage to the coils. So if you're running all three coils, it automatically goes to 180 watts. Uh, and you can adjust it from there, but it kind of goes out to the max to begin with. Running two coils, it goes to 120, and one coil, it gives you 60 watts max. Um, I haven't really played around with any other tanks and RDAs on there to see if it does it across the board, but with these coils in there and the switches turned on and off, it actually does that. And the way they're able to do that is in the base of the tank, uh, instead of just a normal contact pin, it's almost like a tapered ring system. Uh, each coil has its own little corresponding ring within the base, so um, once it's on and makes contact, that coil is activated. Um, the Spider mod itself has a nice fire button on the side here. Um, uses a built-in 4200 milliamp battery and your wattage and everything is controlled by a little dial here. Um, so once your screen's actually active, you can use the dial to adjust your wattage. Now this thing goes all the way up to, I think it goes all the way up to a full 200 watts, but only does 180 on the tank itself. Let's see if I'm wrong. Uh, yeah, it looks like it goes all the way up to 200. Yeah, and then actually round robins back to 10 when you go all the way up. You know, a lot of them you get all the way to the top and you want to go to a lower wattage, you got to go all the way back down. But this one does round robin. Now, let's go back to 130 watts. That's where I felt the most comfortable vaping all three coils at one time. All right. Back to 130. And then if you want to go from power mode to other modes, like if you want to use uh, different style coils, tap your fire button three times. Go to power mode. And they do have nickel, titanium, stainless steel. Uh, and DIY mode, which is going to be your TCR modes. And then you can adjust your work time, which I got set to 10 seconds. Uh, screen brightness, and you can do a lock yes or no, and that's just going to lock it to keep it from adjusting by itself. So we'll stay on power mode. Within power mode, you can do hard, normal, or soft. That's keep it on normal, and like I said, 130 watts. Um, there is a micro USB charging port right at the top back here. I had to get it flipped around. It's kind of a different shape and everything. Um, but back here at the back is where your micro USB cord is. Um, let's see, like I said, I'm doing all three of the coils, all are turned on, doing 130 watts. Let's have a couple of vapes on it real quick. And it is a nice warm vape. Um, but it's almost like a smaller vapor production and kind of a little less heat than I've had at 130 watts on just the way the coils are designed or the airflow. Um, but it doesn't really feel like it's giving 130 watts compared to what I've vaped 130 watts before, like on RDAs and stuff like that. So I'm not sure if it's just not doing the full wattage or it's just the way the airflow is set up on this. But it's a lot easier to manage than 130 watts has been in the past. And even vaping 180 watts, I've never really vaped anything over 150. But 180 wasn't that bad, and I've tried a 200 watt hit a couple times, and really wasn't pleased with it. So uh, just seeing it does 180, I'm I'm not sure if it's really just not doing it, or if it's just easier because of the way the tank's designed, that it's just easier to handle the 200 or 180 watt hit. Uh, like I said, the tank itself is a four mil capacity, is top fill. Uh, it has a little chuff cap type of top fill cap. This does not uh, interchange with anything. It's not an 810 drip tip in there or a 510. It's just that chuff cap style design. Uh, and the way you fill it is just on threads here. And then it's just a top fill design. Nice silicone or 
I think that's silicone in there, to seal across the top and help hold everything together and keep it from leaking out the top. All right. I'll go ahead and show you the extra coil and some of the extra stuff you get in the box here. Uh, in the box, I get my replacement glass and also a replacement set of O-rings in case you get any issues with your O-rings in the tank. There we go, nice pretty green O-rings. All right, and you get your instruction manual. Uh, you get a little warning card that talks about um, the batteries and the resistances and stuff to let you know basically it's going to automatically recognize those coils and adjust your power accordingly. And then this gives you the wattage range for all the different coils that are in the, uh, or the different sections of the coils in the tank. Um, you get a little code that kind of tells you how to do your authentication. Um, a lot of people see these codes on here and think that's your code for your authentication. We get a lot of calls about, oh, this, this code came back used already. This is just a sample to show you how to use the one that's on the outside of the box, which on this one that's on the outside of here. And then you get your instruction manual for the spider kit. Let's see, does it cover the tank too or just the mod? It looks like it covers both of them. Yeah, it does show the mod and the uh, and the tank in here. That's cool. I know sometimes I'll do separates when they have kits like that. You get your micro USB cable, and then here's that coil. And as you see, it is the triple barrel design. Like I said, all three of these can operate separately from each other. If you look at the bottom here, the way that contact is, it's got that tapered ring system I was talking about. And those are going to line up with the rings in the base of the tank. You've got your normal contact pin and you've got rings that make contact with each of those. And each of those correspond with one of those coil sections. So you can run into one coil, two coils, or all three coils at a time. Um, and completely eliminate the other ones from even running if you just want to use one coil. So I thought it was pretty cool and innovative when the original 5.6 uh, device came out with that tank. Uh, the Mini seems to work just as well. Um, it's kind of cool. I want to see maybe some more people do stuff like this. Uh, it'd be kind of cool, kind of like what the Fusion did, to maybe have it where you can do separate flavors or something if you're going to run your tank separately. But I do like that it does add to the longevity if you're going to use one coil, two coils, or three, that you can actually space it out and make one coil head last three times as long, essentially. Um, I think that about covers it for the Spider Kit. Um, these are available on our website, so if you have any questions about them or want to check them out, please do so and leave the questions in the comments below. As always, I'm David, my freedom smokes, and thank you for vaping.